this is we are learning a thing which for some reason the textbook is calling the product a plus b times c plus d often in real life we call this expanding double brackets so expanding double brackets is basically the process what we have to learn here now what i've put on google classroom is uh, some information about i mean the textbook bit so you can see this and the questions coming afterwards but i've also put a link on google classroom uh, to a video i've done on youtube if you ever want to go back to this and revisit your theory feel free to do that but here i'm going to demonstrate how this works basically i'm going to start with an example so this example done here so let me just zoom in how do you expand and simplify this well i tend to draw these little lines so coming out of x joining the x to the other two terms in the other uh pair of brackets and then yeah underneath the three with the x and the two these lines means what means multiplication so there's a tiny invisible times between the brackets we don't write it there because we're lazy but it's there right so then somebody was about to say x times x gives you x squared excellent and then the next bit would be x times positive 2 plus 2x. And then we move on to the blue stuff. So positive 3 times x gives you positive 3x, easy peasy. And then finally, plus 3 times plus 2. 5 is wrong. Excellent. 6 is the correct answer because this is times, remember? Uh, and I know I said plus 3 times plus 2, and some people probably didn't hear the plus, the times. But it's always times, always. Right, moving on to the final stage. Final stage involves, what do we call this process where these two X's and these three X's come together and make a family? Collecting like terms, excellent. So the final answer here would be X squared plus, now two lots of X plus three lots of X, five lots of X plus six. And don't forget to add a smiley face because we love maths. Okay, so that is pretty much the answer here. And now let's move on to the next of the theory. So let's move on down to this really tricky example. Most students would fail. They shiver just at the, the look of this question. So let's start again using the same method with the red arrows and the blue arrows. Okay, 2x times 3x. This is for really, really good students, okay? So, be careful, think carefully before you say Okay, uh, yes, 6x squared is the final correct answer, nicely done. So, 2 times 3 will give us the 6, and then x times x will give us the x squared. So, don't get confused. Some, I heard some students say 5x, some people said uh, 5x squared, some people said... So, keep that in mind. Do them separately to keep it easy. Moving on to the next bit, 2x times minus... Two. So negative 4x would be correct, because this is positive here. There's an invisible... I don't know if you saw that plus. Did you see that invisible plus? Uh, this is positive, and you multiply it by negative. So you know it's going to be negative. And then the 2 times the 2 will give us 4. But this is 2x times 2, so that's going to give you that x as well. Moving on to the blue stuff. Okay, now this is positive 1 times positive 3x. There's a tiny invisible plus there. So positive 1 times 3x is... Plus 3x, yes, because often students will just write that down. They'll be like, ooh, right, so that's 3x. And then you'll be like, but what's there? Well, they're not sure, so they won't write it down. So we'll just write it up here. So remember, it's plus. Yes, if this were minus, you would put a minus. Then finally, plus 1 times negative 2. Negative 2. Excellent. Final stage now. Let's just collect the like terms, which would be this. Collect it with this. Minus x, minus 1x, all of that stuff is correct. So when you've got 3 and you take away 4, or you've got minus 4 and you add 3, you get minus 1 in the end. So final answer here, 6x squared minus x or 1x, that's fine. If you put the 1 there, I'm not going to uh, have any issues with that. And then finally, minus 2. So this is a final answer here. And let's not forget to put smiley face. Excellent. Well done. That's how you get the bonus marks. Okay, so that is pretty much the theory. I know it kind of blew your mind, probably. This is really heavy stuff today, guys. So hang in there. I just wanted to mention something very quickly before I let you get on with the independent work. If you see this kind of thing, the square, 
It's times right off, exactly. So keep that in mind before you get started that this actually means 3x plus 1 times 3x plus 1. Because the number of times I've seen a student write 3x squared plus 1 squared, you would not believe how many times I've seen this. That, that would be wrong. Okay, so I'm just crossing out. You would have to do this thing with the brackets, do the arrows and everything, blah, blah, blah. You will get loads of stuff coming out of this. But I'm not going to show you for now because I know you already know your stuff. So try to do as many as possible. I know we don't have that much time left, but I have faith in your ability to complete this quickly, efficiently, correctly, and with pleasure. Right, let me just very quickly stop the recording here and then I will be happy to answer any questions anyone might have.